Brighton nil, Arsenal three. I think it's time for people to understand this. This is not the Arsenal vote. This is not the Arsenal vote because, listen, Brighton play good football and Brighton have not lost at the Amex Stadium in the Premier League since August. Make no mistake about it. We're giving Arsenal their credit today. We're giving Arsenal their credit today because obviously midweek had a rotated squad and today we kept pretty much the same back four against Luton and the attack that we started against City with, you know, Havertz down the middle, Jesus on the left and Sack on the right. That's what we went with and the midfield being Jorginho, Rice and Erdegaard. And listen... First off, I think we could have we could have blitzed Brighton. I have to be real. You know, Brighton play very high risk, high reward type of football. You know, they love to pop it around, play out from the back. And there was quite a few instances where we caught them on the ball. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to spurn those, you know, chances um in our favor because yeah it was it was hit and miss Havertz actually picked out Jesus twice in this game twice with very good delivery and Jesus wasn't able to connect well on the header but listen I think it was a very mature measured performance you know we were I think we were cooking um Jesus on the left is it's good to see Jesus get minutes on the left because you know, short term, medium to long term, he might have to, you know, play out wide, especially with the vein of form that Havertz is in down the middle and the option that he gives us going long, you know, with Rice kicking and everything and how he brings others into play, you know, he plays almost like a target man. So I think having that physicality and high up front definitely helps us. And if you notice, since the up words trajectory of Havertz's form in 2024, the talk around signing and Ivan Tony has gone down. I don't think we're signing Tony this summer. I think Arsenal will probably look to go another direction. And because of the fact that we can now look at and be like, you know what, Havertz can, you know, he can he can do a job up front as a target man. I think it's now giving our tech the flexibility to be like, okay, cool, what striker do I want to sign? At first, it was more, we need to sign a striker that is a target man. Now, obviously, um, the objectives has changed because of the fact that we're like, you know what? Potentially, this is Havertz's his best position. Me, I think Havertz is a, is a striker. I think he's a striker. And it's not a coincidence. His best games for us have come up front. It's not a coincidence. But, yeah, you know, I'm 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 delighted with the win. Extra three goals. Looks good on the goal defence. This is what you have to do. Obviously, City won earlier today 4-2. They only got two goals in that. Um, um, up, upwards of two goals based on that, you know, because there was only a two goal difference for that, and we got three, so that's an extra one on goal difference against City. L- listen, you might think I'm oh yeah, goal difference this and that, but it matters. Your title race is not easy, man. It's not easy, but obviously, yeah, Jesus getting minutes on the left, he was active and he was helping out Zinchenko, which was very important. Work rate was. Fantastic, and he was the one that actually won the penalty. He skipped past Tarek Lamptey in the box, who left the leg out, you know. And though he made slight contact with the ball because Jesus was still in possession of the ball, it ended up being a penalty. You know, this season, when it comes to penalties, is it what Odegaard is it Saka? I'm gonna hold the ball for you, and then you come and take the penalty. It was more or less the same. Saka takes the penalty, he buries it, like work 1-0 in the first half. I'm like, yeah, let's come come on, let's add another goal in the first half. Because the way we were playing in the first half and how we were managing Brighton, very good job, man. Because, you know, the way De Zerbi sets up his team, it's not easy to stifle them. We did that at the Emirates as well. Like, we can't forget, we can't forget. Funny thing is, we didn't get that second goal we were looking for in the first half. And obviously, as a fan, being invested in the game... You know, you're going through the emotional highs and lows and you're like, oh, we've we played all right. We've played decent football. We haven't got the second goal we need. You know, we need to get that second goal to kill off the game. So we go into the second half, you know, not much is happening. And we're like, where's the goal going to come from? Because it's one of those ones, next goal changes the game. I was thinking, cool, if we get the second goal, it could be it could be game over for Brighton because of the poor form they're in. If Brighton get you know the equaliser, it's gonna give them 
you know, a, an oomph. So I was like, yo, we must get that second goal. And A, eventually happened some good play down the right hand side. Saka was actually down injured. So Odegaard had to, you know, flick a pass outwards on the right hand channel to guess who? Jorginho. Yeah, Jorginho on the right hand channel. Jorginho made that perfectly timed run. And Havertz, great movement. You know, you know Havertz, he's, he's got great movement. <laughs> Before he even said, we were saying, EA, Romdoita. If that's, I don't even know how you say it in German. We were saying he's a space invader. You know, no one's there, bro. But yeah, Jorginho was on the right-hand channel, pulled it across. Havertz, great run down the middle, taps it in. And yeah, this is Havertz's ninth league goal. That's more than he's ever scored in any of the seasons at Chelsea. And you're looking at it now and you're like, yo, that's... That's decent. That's decent. I, I need one more. I need I need Havertz to jump into double figure territory because yo, this is this is looking all right, you know. You know, like that. I have to big up Havertz because obviously he was under a lot of pressure and to even move across, you know, from Chelsea to Arsenal. That that Chelsea to Arsenal, you know, pipeline is a bit mm, I don't know. Interesting. We think we like to think, oh yeah, Chelsea are our rivals. Obviously not to the extent of like a Tottenham or whatever, but we always do a lot of deals between ourselves and stuff like that. And a lot of the time they always get, you know, in the good end of the deals. Ashley Cole, Jury did bits for them, ended up winning the Champions League and European League for them. Um and yeah, we we were like, you know what? We're taking a chance on habit. Not even us. Yeah, Arteta, he wanted him. And Edu was like, right, cool, you know what? We'll give you Havertz. And, you know, props to Arteta for sticking with him and just finding a role, finding a role for him in this team. Because in midfield, I was like, mm, I don't know, is it working really? And truly, it was a bit of a, um, I don't know, a bit of a, a bit of a faff for the first 20 games because we didn't really know what was going on. But it's, it's, it's beautiful to see, you know, Havertz in this kind of form now, so confident. Five goals and three assists. In his last seven games or so, I believe. Yeah, so big up habits for the goal. And hey, Jorginho with the assist. All right, the, the old Chelsea connections. You know them ones there. Helping us get the second goal in the game is beautiful. What a time to be alive. Yeah, this one's just for the Chelsea fans. Quickly, innit? Yeah, yeah, quickly. <laughs> but yeah, once again, no, big up habits. And yeah, Jorginho this season... Definitely, you've seen how he's been able to help us. And listen, he's still a bit uncertain. And we're still a bit, we're still uncertain in regards to his future because, you know, he hasn't extended his contract. Is he leaving on the summer on a free or is he going to extend? And listen, if Arsenal to extend Jorginho's contract, I would be happy with that. I'd be happy with that. It brings a lot of experience and you've seen, you know, the value he adds to our squad. But yeah, man, the Chelsea boys... Yeah, they're doing they're doing their works right now. They're doing their works right now, and it's crazy because they've actually, they've actually upgraded <laughs> since leaving Chelsea, involved in the title race and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, for, for Havertz to move across, you know, London like that, very brave of him. He could have gone, you know, back to Germany, buying more in for him. Real Madrid was even looking at Havertz. Yeah, I know Real Madrid they even looking at Havertz. Hotel was like, nah, this is my, this is this is the guy for us and. Sealed the deal and, you know, it's been great to see, you know, how Havertz has taken to 2024. This is this has really been his year and it's great to see him in such a rich vein of form because he was getting, you know, a lot of, lot of stick, a lot of stick. Not just from even Arsenal fans or position fans too, but it's like even a lot of Arsenal fans didn't really want to see him succeed because before he even, you know, put on the shirt and played a game... There was a lot of, you know, a lot of vitriol that was being spewed out because of the fact that, you know, he played for Chelsea and mm, he was so-so for Chelsea. But at the end of the day, he's a clutch guy. He did get that Champions League winning goal. And whether Chelsea fans like it or not, he's forever part of your history. And now he's here at Arsenal looking to create history. Yeah, another quick one. Um, Obviously, today was Ben White, 100 Arsenal Premier League appearance. So, yeah, just have to big him up. First season, he was playing in centre-back, you know, and formed a very decent partnership with Gabriel. And since last season, you know, right back, he's been a revelation, overlapping. And now even this season, Shoney can do it inverted. Like, anything you want. Very adaptable player. Great attitude. Gets on with it. Super hard-working. 
listen, Ben White, super valuable member of our team, super valuable member of our team, and gives gives it his all every time he puts on the shirt. So, yeah, we just have to commend commend him on reaching hundred Premier League appearances for Arsenal, and you know, here's to many more, man. Big up Ben White. Last but not least, I you know the ones when it's just it's just meant to be. It's just meant to be. Obviously, last season, I remember when we were facing Brighton at home and that match we lost 3-0. I remember before we even got clipped like that, I'm pretty sure Trossard had a chance earlier in the game and grazed the woodwork. Cool. So you didn't get the goal he was looking for against his former club. And, you know, like players of, you you know, the past club, they always want to get a goal against them. It's just natural. You saw how Rice lashed it in against West Ham. Cool, say no more. Trotsard was like, Brighton? Yeah, I'm getting my goal today. I'll get I'm getting my goal today. Fantastic ball from Havertz, who, you know, hey, another goal contribution. That's an assist. Looks good on the numbers. Big him up. He had a good game today. And Trossard was running through and goal. Beautiful run. And Trossard knows how to make them runs. I'm telling you. He knows how to make them runs. Them incisive runs where you've got no option but to, you know, play him through it. Especially when we're on the break, bro. I've seen Trossard do that a few times this season. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's been great. It's been great, to be honest. And yeah, he was running for on goal and perfectly, the way he arced his run, goal side across the defender, meant that, hey, any type of contact, it's, it's a red, it's a red, it's a red. Last man, or if he got in the box at the time, it's a penalty. So it's like, Trossard put the defender in this, you know, really tough position. Um, and he really had, you know, no opportunity to really get at him. And listen, hey, the finish, beautiful. Beautiful. Wasn't in doubt. The composure, the composure to just lift it, lift it past the Brighton keeper was just excellent. But you know this, Trossard's, bro, Trossard's one of the best finishers at this club. Like, in terms of like, raw, like, everyone have an opportunity to shoot. Let's go machine for machine, left foot, right foot. I personally think Trossard might be the best finisher in this team. I told him man about Trossard. I told him man about Trossard. But yeah, he scores, taps the Arsenal badge in front of the Brighton fans who were booing him, giving him a bit of stick. And yeah, we love to see it, man. Because look, getting contributions from, you know, all players in the squad is important. Getting contributions from all players in the squad is important. Because like I said, you're going to have to call on, you know, different profiles of player. Um, obviously, Tommy Yasu came on to shore it up. And yeah, uh, Eddie and Fabio Vera got some minutes. Martinelli got some minutes as well on the right hand side, which is interesting. I think Arteta's doing that to, you know, see how viable of an option Martinelli can be on the right hand side, which, is, which isn't which is a bad shout. But yeah, man, listen, Trossard, he sealed the deal. 3 0 against Brighton. Lovely days, man. So now we sit back, relax. Obviously, tonight, well, not tonight, tomorrow. We've got the United Liverpool match. Hey, United, we need a favour from you lot. But yeah, man, gonna enjoy this one. You man can sit back, enjoy the rest of the weekend. It's lit. But yeah, big ups Arsenal. Tuesday, super important game against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich lost today. Leverkusen won. I'm pretty sure that means the Bundesliga title sealed. Hey, so they're gonna be going all in for you know that game on Tuesday. Do not take Bayern Munich lightly. Do not take Bayern Munich lightly. But Arsenal, we need to get the job done. If ever there was a time to beat Bayern and embarrass them, it's now. We need our get back. But yeah, man, big ups. Big ups, everyone, for the win. Yeah, love.